Okay, welcome to episode 134 of the Epic Film Challenge. Um, for this episode, I watched a classic film, and it is um, part of the the Sony Collector's uh, Edition series on Blu-ray. And this one is a 25th anniversary edition. It is Stand By Me, which is a brilliant film, directed by Rob Reiner, and starring um, Will Wheaton, Corey Feldman, Jerry O'Connell, and River Phoenix as four kids who go in search of a dead body of a local boy and they follow the rail tracks all the way there. Um, Keith Sutherland is also in this and he's kind of part of an older gang of, um, of guys who are also trying to find the body and their whole motivation between about finding this body is um, to kind of get some you know press attention in the paper, you know, we found this boy. Um, so these four kids, they go on a journey together, and uh, this was actually based on a uh, novella, a short um, novel uh, by Stephen King, um, or adapted from anyway. Uh, and it's a it's a brilliant film about uh, about friendship, I think, in a lot of ways, and about death and about dealing with death. The main character, his older brother, has died, and um, he's kind of obsessed with finding this body. And that kind of revolves around that, really. And uh, River River Phoenix's character, uh, Chris Chambers, one of my favorite film characters of all time. Um, I mean, he just he looks the part of this tough ass kid, who um, you know was just really like can fend for himself. You know, is tough and and at the same time, later on in the film, he becomes so vulnerable, and he just <sighs> River Phoenix was amazing, and. Um, you know, he was only 15, 16 in this film. It just goes to show how good he was. Um, and towards the end of the film, you know, this is this is set in the um, the late 50s, I think. And it's being told uh, from the main character's point of view as an older man, uh, looking back on it. And uh, so he's narrating, and at the end of the film he speaks about how um, the character of Chris Chambers um, went on to kind of break past his rough background and become a lawyer and become successful and one day he was in a fast food restaurant tried to break up a fight and was stabbed in the throat and was killed and this narration is going on while you see the kids and the, the young River, River Phoenix is walking away and he kind of looks back and then he just fades away and wow <laughs> that is a uh, you know in retrospect that is one of the um, the most emo emotionally uh, heartstring pulling scene I can remember in a film because you know River, River Phoenix died far too young. He was only he was my age when he died. Um, and just look back on that now, you know it was very very eerie that the narration was saying that you know this character, you know, in his younger life died, and you know the exact same thing happened to River Phoenix, and they're just I don't know. It sounds bad, but because he was so good in the film, and because he was such a good actor generally, it's just such a shame, you know. Um, that is a really bad thing to say, actually, but, you know, it's... <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, it really gets you, and Kiefer Sutherland is brilliant in this film, too, and so is the main actor, who um, is not really a, a well-known star these days. But, yeah, I absolutely love this film, Stand By Me. It's a great film. The kids are brilliant in it. You know, Corey Feldman, the, the fat kid... Who, um, <laughs> there's a picture-in-picture a -picture commentary on this Blu-ray with um, the main kid in the film, the director, and Corey Feldman, and they talk about how uh, how funny it is that that fat kid from Stand By Me grew up and went on to marry uh, Rebecca Romaine. <laughs> so yeah, the, he's great in it. You know, they're all, all four of them are great, and um, it really it's a, such a great film that highlights friendship um, and depicts it very truthfully. I think that kind of young friendship. You know, at the end of the film, it's like. I've never had, he says, I've never had friends like I did when I was 12. Jesus, you know. You know, who, who, oh, was it Jesus who, um, who has, you know, like, you know, everyone, you know, has, has makes such a strong connection with their friends when they're that young. And, um, again, in the narration at the end, he says how they all drifted apart when, you know, when they went to high school. Sometimes with friends, that just happens, you know. You go through these, you know, really strong, uh, experiences and you bond and then just like that it's gone well not gone but 
you know, you, you, you don't see each other anymore, and that, that is so true, and, um, and that gets me too, because that's very reminiscent of, you know, my experiences with, with friends, and, and being young, and whatever, but that's mainly because I moved away from where I was when I was quite young, but, yeah, it's a brilliant film, I absolutely love it, 10 out of 10, uh, there's a lot of films I'm watching recently that, uh, I'm giving 10 out of 10, but this one really deserves it, and, um, yeah, it is definitely a classic, stand by me.